the house party you're at. Um, the only view that we care about is the one out the window. And we thank you, beautiful. Thank you for coming. <laughs> You know, it's inter first of all, thank you for that comment. It's interesting to me how many people come up to me and say, oh, you know, I think you're beautiful. Don't listen to all those comments about your face. <laughs> Honestly, do you think I care what Donnie thinks about my face? I'd like to hear your views on immigration and Latinos. 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 So <clears throat> let me begin by saying, we have to stop contributing to our problem. And one of the immediate ways we must stop contributing to our problem is we need to stop the flow of Syrian refugees into this country. We cannot vet them. We cannot vet them. Now, there are many people who will say that is lacking in compassion. My heart breaks when I see the pictures of these refugees. But our own government has told us we cannot adequately vet them. We cannot determine who they are or what their intentions are. So I'm sorry, we cannot be letting them in in this time of great danger if we don't know who these people are. And as pitiful as these pictures are of mothers and their children, and they are pitiful, the truth is this, the vast majority of these refugees are young, able-bodied men yes. looking for work. And we do not have a moral obligation to provide everyone looking for work with an opportunity to work. So let us just start with that. Secondly, we have to secure the border. We have to secure the border. How long have we been talking about this, ladies? We have been talking about this for 25 years. It is the classic example of the difference between management and leadership. We know what it takes to secure the border. There's a bill sitting on the floor of the House right now to secure the border. You think it's getting voted on? No. no. What does it take to secure a border? Money, manpower, technology. This is not rocket science, but mostly apparently what it takes is leadership and political willpower because it's not getting done. There are loads of things that we know should be getting done that aren't. This is what I mean when I say managers. Managers just kind of, you know, fiddle around. We need to secure the border, period. Secondly, we have to fix the legal immigration system. The legal immigration system is also contributing to this problem. Why? Because half the people who are here illegally came legally, overstayed the visa, nobody cared. We hand out thousands, actually, of things that are called Mexican border crossing cards. They give somebody the opportunity to cross our border for a day. The only trouble is we don't check to see if they went home. We don't have an employer verification system that works. This has been going on for 20 years. We're the most technologically sophisticated nation in the world. Of course we can build an employer verification system that works. We just haven't. There's a reason that 75% of Americans now think their government is inept and corrupt. Because government is inept. When you can't build an employer verification system that works, that's ineptitude, folks. So we have to fix the legal immigration system. And then ultimately we will have to decide what do we do with people who are here illegally and have come here illegally. My own view is this, you have forfeited your right to citizenship. We cannot be a nation where one set of people plays by the rules, studies our history, raises their hand, takes an oath, and say to them, there is no reward for that behavior. And there is no consequence for the opposite. We cannot be that nation. So if you have come here illegally and you have stayed here illegally, I believe you have forfeited your right to citizenship. Perhaps you have an opportunity to work here. But we can't say there is no consequence for breaking the law and there is no reward for playing by the rules. Clock TV.